I'm Yeah, so um, the estimated cost is no more estimate really, it's the contract price for the construction of this uh, bridge is around 15 million, 15 million US dollars. And as we said, it's been supported by the Africa Development Bank uh, with contribution from the Aquas Commission on the project management side. Let's talk about the construction frame. Give us a little picture about their work in terms of what assurance are you hoping in them to deliver? Okay, so the design of the bridge um, took into consideration all the necessary um, site situations, the design principles and all that. So the design um, factored in all the possible um, occurrences that may affect the construction period. As we indicated earlier, the construction period is supposed to be 24 months. Um, that is in two years. Uh, and as we, have, we can see from the site, it's a very difficult site. However, um, the, during the design period, se several visits were paid to this site to assess the level of the river, the nature of the terrain, and all that to build into uh, the design and the estimated construction period. So in terms of on the technical and the engineering side, we make sure that every uh, possible situation that may delay the construction is, uh, is, is factored into the 24 months. Um, let me also add that the, the successful completion of the bridge within the period that is envisaged also depends on the cooperation from the two countries, right? Because the construction materials, for instance, are going to be imported through the ports of either Cote d'Ivoire or Liberia. And we will need the support of the countries to facilitate the clearances, give us waivers for tax, because these are, this is a regional project. And automatically, it's, um, it's um, waived, the, the tax uh, import duties are waived. And also to facilitate the clearance, the port clearance of materials to enable the contractor to have the materials on site so they can work. We also count on the countries to help with the supervision. A major part of a successful uh, engineering project is a successful uh, supervision. So we've put in place a supervision firm that has engineers and other um, um, experts who would supervise the work to make sure that the time is kept. However, the two countries would have to uh, support us. ECOWAS has officially requested the two countries to designate two engineers each who will be put on the project to help um, ensure this uh, supervision goes smoothly. Let's, let's look at the importance. Why is that ECOWAS continue to focus on this project, man giving us maybe a clear picture of the, the essence of such construction? Okay, so um, as we all know, the essence of ECOWAS is regional integration, right? At the end of the day, we seek to create an economic union for the whole of West Africa to function like one country. And what that means is you are able to move freely from one part to the other. You are able to establish your business as if you are a citizen of that country. And you are able to uh, reside, reside, marry, reside in any of the countries as if you are from that country. So that is what we seek. The secondly, we have over 400 million people in West Africa. Mm. This is a big market. So any 
business or any entrepreneur who is even located here in Prolo, if you manufacture a basket, a bed that we sleep on, anything that you manufacture in the region, we want you to have access to the 400 million population as your market. Right? Can you imagine if you manufacture something in your small corner and you can sell it freely throughout the region? Right? So for this to happen, we need to make sure that the physical connection is provided. And physical connection can be either by road, railways, port connection, or by air. We are working, we are doing a lot of things in all these modes of transport. But the most important as we have now is the roads. Because 90% of trading in the region today is carried by road, right? So any missing link in the road network is a major hindrance to all that we seek to achieve. And that is where the importance of such a project comes in. Once we are able to bridge this river, you have created a physical access for the, 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 the populations of the two countries and the 400 million people in West Africa to be able to move freely and without hindrance to sell, to go to school. You know, we know people live in Liberia and come to school in Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. We know people live in Liberia and come for tourism, can go to, people can also move from Cote d'Ivoire to, even from Nigeria, people would want to visit the, the beautiful places of Nigeria. So in terms of tourism, education, environment, agriculture, and all these economic sectors, infrastructure is the main catalyst that will let it happen. Thank That's you. Why this is important. Thank you so much, Shai. It is important. Uh, my uh, point is based on success story, uh, especially when it comes to this uh, group of companies that is about to undertake this project. Uh, I have two questions. Have you viewed any success story from them so as to get more assurance? And secondly, uh, does Equas have any success story based on the same type of construction? Very good. So let me start with the Equas part. There are a lot of success stories that um, ECOWAS, working with the countries and our partners, have achieved. Um, uh, two years ago, we completed the construction of a 400-meter bridge between Liberia, uh, Nigeria and Cameroon. Right? Uh, Nigeria is in West Africa, Cameroon is in Central Africa. These are two regions, but this bridge has connected the two sides. Um, and ECOWAS coordinated this, we supervised it, we So this is the, the alignment of the, the new bridge, or the bridge. This is the alignment. So from here it crosses over to the Liberian side. And then it goes in this direction and connects to the road to Kabul. Yeah. So what's the issue? Okay. Any question? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No. Yeah. We have a question. So if there is a question, we'll go to the room and then... The director has indicated that we have a design this morning uh, carried out by a design consultant validated by both member states. So, this is the design that we are going to hand over. The approved design we are going to hand over to the consultant and the contractor. As my director has indicated, it's a 288 meter bridge. Uh, divided into eight arms. It is a cantilever box, cantilever bridge that 
uh, will be constructed for a period of uh, 24 months, as he has indicated. Uh, if I can just show you, just for the record, the page. So, this is just uh, the, the bridge, as you can see. It is right across here. Which? So, this is the design document that we are going to hand over first to the contractor. Okay, okay so the official turning over ceremony of the construction site for the manual of which? Okay, so yes, let's see, see. Um, um, which is uh, following the, the successful year. selection. That's uh, what uh, we will hand over the approved drawings to you. Uh, you serve as your working documents for the next one. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Then we have one copy. <coughs> That's the supervisor of the works. Um, AIM consultant. This is what you also use. The next 24 months. This is the annex to your Bible. <laughs> the Bible. Bible cannot be repeated. So this, this will be your Thank you so much. design copy to make sure that our brothers work in accordance with that great Thank you so much. Uh, okay, so, we are so thank you very much. Do you have any words for that? Okay. You would like to go for This is our project manager, Mr. Liang. We are the contractor to build the bridge. And uh, this, now we have got the contract. We will try our best to make it uh, on time and also the full quality as a repairment. Yeah. So also we need your support from your country, also from your media. Yeah. So for us to finish the budget uh, properly. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so David who? David. David Liu. Okay, David Liu. Yes, our budget finished. Okay, so.